Hey there folks, at long last I finally bring you a legitimate Smogon doubles battle, not just a doubles battle that I've had against, you know, on the um, battle spot or against some random passerby who had like double battle. So this is a legitimate Smogon doubles battle uh, that I got through Poke Ames Twitch. Uh, I went on the Twitch hoping to battle him in like Ubers or something, uh, but he was busy playing the demo of Super Smash Brothers, which I believe is now released. Uh, he had one of the platinum member thingies. But anyway, so there was a guy there who was like, uh, uh, Pokemon, when are you gonna battle? And when are you gonna do battles? And I was like, dude, do you wanna battle me? And he was like, yeah, sure, pick a tier. It's like, I said, don't tell me to pick a tier because I'm gonna choose Smog on doubles. And he was like, works for me. And I was like, okay, let's do it. So he leads off with Emolga and Machamp. I lead off with my Scarfed Landorus T and my, um, Amoongus. So I go ahead and go for the Rock Slide, fishing for the Flinch. I was actually really hoping to take out the Amolga because I'm looking at my team and thinking, Amolga kind of... it's not great for my team. Let's just let's just leave it at that. It's not great for my team. Uh, I don't KO and he switches out and I'm like really hoping for a, uh, a Flinch on uh, Machamp because if Machamp goes for... I was thinking he was going to go for Ice Punch, and that might have, that was going to do a lot of damage. He doesn't. He went for Knock Off, and this is actually going to work out in my favor. So, because now I can switch out moves. Specifically, I can go ahead and use Earthquake to kill that Darmanitan, because the thing about Darmanitan is that it's freaking frail. So I have Magnus go for Protect, because I'm thinking that Darmanitan's probably going to be targeting it. And so now I go for Earthquake. Uh, I'm actually, I actually outspeed the Darmanitan, which I guess I knew, because Darmanitan speed is high, but it's not that high. And I nearly take out the Machamp in addition to the Darmanitan. Now, that was a crit, but Darmanitan's pretty frail for the most part, so I'm not sure that that crit really mattered. I'll put up the calcs in the annotations. So, uh, Machamp stays asleep. Don't really have to worry too much about it. And now out is going to be Greninja. Uh, so, Greninja is definitely going to outspeed me, so I'm going to want to withdraw. And um, I'm going to go out into Chinatown, my um, my Gyarados. So now that Machamp is really, really not scary at all whatsoever because it's at minus two. Greninja goes for the Ice Beam. Uh, Protean Ice Beam is obvious. And it's going to hit uh, Magnus. Magnus takes that hit not very well. It does over half uh, because Protean is an amazing ability. Uh, Magnus goes for the Giga Drain, though, to get back up. I just wanted to kill that Machamp before it woke up, and this is going to put me at over half to the point where after a round of Black Sludge recovery, I'm very much hoping that I will be able to take another Ice Beam. I'm actually banking on being able to take that Ice Beam, because if I can't, then it's not good. So, I go for the Rage Powder. Um, yeah, because I was going for the Rage Powder, because I really, really, really did, could not afford for Amolga to Volt Switch me. Uh, and I survive on 7, and I'm like, that's fantastic, and now um, I'm going to get nuzzled, and I survive on 1! That's horrible, that's horrible. I mean, I'm going to get paralyzed, and it is nuzzle. I mean, it's not like it's a super powerful move. But, I got off my plan, which was paralyzing that uh, Greninja. That way, I do not really have to fear it very much at all. Magnus is going to recover a bit of health. I am so... so I, I actually, for all I know, that might have been max damage. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I guess I can put it up in the calcs. But if you're running Nuzzle, then I don't think you're using a standard set. Just a, just a hunch here. I set up Billy D again. Uh, I should be able to outspeed both of his Pokemon now that Greninja is paralyzed. And so I am hoping here to get the double KO. Of course, there's a decent chance that something will miss. I go ahead and withdraw to get the uh, the regenerator recovery. Here comes the nuzzle. It doesn't affect Billy D, so that was an excellent play on my end. Greninja uh, goes ahead and targets Tachikoma. Uh, it's fine. I guess I could have been fearing the uh, that it was gonna he was gonna target against Gyarados, but I just didn't see that happening um, because I thought that Emolga was gonna take care of that. So uh, I do ahead, do go ahead and take out Emolga. Um, Greninja survives, which is impressive considering it's weak to it while uh, in after it used an ice beam. So yeah, I'm rather surprised there. Um, but it looks like he, he must have gotten the paralysis there. Uh, so now out is Garchomp. I'm gonna go ahead and just go for Earthquake because at that range Greninja's dead and uh, I, I can just take out these two Pokemon and it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I mean Garchomp of course survives because Garchomp has a decent amount of bulk. 
Uh, but it still took about half, and so Garchomp, I'm not sure why I went for the Iron Head. I'm thinking he might have thought that I was going to switch out into Gardevoir, but the, I mean, this was in my favor. I wasn't going to do that. So, go ahead and burn the Garchomp, just to add insult to injury and make it super duper weak, but really the burn wasn't necessary because I'm just going to Earthquake next turn uh, and kill it. And especially I'm going to Earthquake because his last Pokemon is Metagross. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to one-shot with uh, one-shot Metagross with uh, an Earthquake, but I have Overheat on my Rotom, so whatever I can't do with one, I'll do with the other. So Garchomp is going to go down, and uh, I really the better move here would have been to Psy uh, not Psychic. I'm sorry, he used Psychic. Uh, the better move here would have been to go for a Thunderbolt, which is 100% accurate, but eh, whatever. Uh, and Metagross is going to go down, and this is a bona fide body bag. I did not lose a single Pokemon, even though I came really close with, excuse me, with Among Us. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed that battle. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. If you do Smog on Doubles and you are watching my battles that I upload as Smog on Doubles matches and think to yourself, God, you you would be destroyed by an actually competent opponent, then, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Click on the link in the description to fill out the form to challenge me to a Smog on Doubles match. Who knows? You might be right. You might be able to destroy me, and that would be good to know, and it would be really a good learning experience for me. So that's all, folks. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Take care.